is Brandon. And this is Marshall. And today we're discussing the polyprocessing company Enhanced Bellows Transition Fitting. It can be found on page 16 of our product and resource guide, as well as on the website at polyprocessing.com slash transition fitting. It is a secure yet flexible fully contained safe tank bottom discharge. And by adding an expansion joint into the plumbing, the tank expands freely during loading and unloading. And it also virtually eliminates damage from piping vibrations caused by pumps. And with this performance maximizing fitting, we have containment of the expansion joint itself, and that eliminates the threat of uncontained chemical leaks and dangerous spurts. And piping layouts can be fully contained by connecting a dual wall piping system onto the fitting. This can mean a safer workplace and less threat to the environment. All of the internal components are pre-fitted and the fitting comes to you assembled and ready to install. It is the only bottom outlet to allow for true secondary containment of double wall polyethylene tanks. So now we want to discuss how to install it in the field. The installation instructions and photos are found on page 22 to 24 in our installation and operation guide. The guide can also be found on our website at polyprocessing.com backslash install guide, all one word, as well. Poly Processing Company installs the complete assembly at the factory to make sure it will function properly during its intended use. Here it is shown completely assembled with the bellows portion of the fitting cut out so you can see the internal piping and the flexi joint expansion joint installed. Once the fitting has been dry fit together, we disassemble a portion of it for shipping. This is the portion that must be installed in the field. So for step one, once the tank is set in its final location, make sure the alignment is confirmed using the installed alignment sleeve. After that, make sure you have all of the hardware that was sent from the factory. Here's a picture of the inventory that you should have. The third step is to remove the two nuts and remove and dispose of the alignment sleeve. You won't need this any longer. Step four, once you have taken the alignment sleeve off, remove the nut from the bulkhead fitting pipe assembly and set it aside for later use. We'll then glue the pipe assembly into the inner tank fitting. We recommend using good quality PVC primer and glue for this connection. Step five is to install the eight inch gasket onto the outside of the outer tank or containment tank. After that, install the bellows housing and 8 inch split ring using the provided hardware. Note that after the pipe assembly is glued into the inner tank, remove the gasket from the bulkhead fitting and using a straight edge, check to ensure that all sealing surfaces are on the same plane. Reinstall the gasket on the bulkhead fitting and then install the 6 inch gasket, the black PE plate, the 6 inch split rings using the provided hardware. After that, tighten the nut onto the bulkhead fitting, and as always, you'll want to hydro test the tank for at least 24 hours to make sure there are no leaks in any of the plumbing. And as always, if you encounter any issues with installation, please call us at 866-590-6845 for help with your installation. <music>